Jaco, when you have the RPO package in, is it strictly your decision whether you go run or pass, and how do you come to that decision based on the defense? Yeah, so it's strictly based on me. Um, kind of our rule of thumb, if it gets cloudy or, or something's not right, just hand it off. And um, <clears throat> that's kind of our thing. You can't be wrong handing it off. Um, I mean, granted, there might be a guy that's unblocked, um, but you know we're, we're taking care of the ball. But um, we want to make the right decisions um, based on whoever we're reading. Uh, whether it's a linebacker or safety, um, and, and either hand it off or, or throwing it. Yeah, I mean, if it's, if it's an RPO play, um, it, it's either or, but, you know, or they'll just call strictly the, the run play. Jake, uh, for you, what did your performance in Gainesville do for you as far as confidence, the fact that you were able to show up on the road in a big game against against a ranked opponent, I guess. What did that do for you? I mean, despite the loss, just your performance in that setting. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think, you know, as the offense as a whole, um, it, it kind of gave us a boost um, of confidence to play well. Um, at the end of the day, though, we didn't win. And um, and we had a chance offensively to, to, to move the ball down the field and go and go score, and, and we didn't. So uh, that's kind of the, the glaring thing for us where we got to get better. Um, and then Coach BMAC said it, you know, on Sunday. We did a lot of good things, um, but we got to execute um, at a high level all the time and not just in spurts. So I think, you know, it gave us a lot of confidence in some areas, but also show where, where we need to improve in others. Jake, we had um, Zach in here a little while ago, and he said that uh, even though you're supposed to let go of uh, every game, every pass game, whether you win or lose, he admitted that. What happened Saturday is gnawing at him a little bit, but it's also helping guys to focus and concentrate on the little things that they need to work on. Is that the same case for you? Yeah, I mean, I think that um, as a quarterback, uh, more than maybe any other position, you got to you know either let go of a win or a loss very quickly because um, we you know we had to be on to Chattanooga on Sunday, watching them um, right after we watched the Florida tape. So um, for me, I'm kind of I'm, I'm past the Florida game. Um, and really just focus on Chattanooga. But it definitely has, um, you know, made us focus in on the details. Because if you go back and look at it, there's five or six plays where, um, you know, a, a, a better block here or a better throw or, or a catch or whatever it may be, a little thing that uh, could have been a difference in the game. Jake, um, I know you guys have high expectations for yourselves, and obviously this season might not have gone the way you planned, but what's the mindset heading into the last two games to just end this season on a high note? Yeah, I mean, for this game, and we take each game at, at a time. So for this game, it's really just about our seniors and, and what, they, what they have done for this program. Um, they've been through a lot since they've been here and um, really just battled and, and really epitomized what, what we want as a culture here. Um, you know, they, they you know, come to practice every day with the right mindset and just uh, have done a lot for us. So this week's about them. And Coach Muschamp challenged everyone from the, from the players to the coaches, support staff, to put all their effort in this week for the seniors to make this week special for them. Jake, how would you uh, assess how the offense has been able to pick up the blitz this year? And how do you kind of mirror practicing against blitzing teams in practice even though you can't get hit? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that, you know, Coach Wolf and uh, Coach Warner really do a, a great job of, of, of seeing all the different blitzes that, that teams have shown, um, you know, and just getting us ready and uh, giving us tips here and there that, that help me and help Donnie during the game um, and allow us to see it better. Um, I think the scout team does a great job of giving us a great look. Uh, they line up and in the right position where they need to be so it looks similar on game day. And uh, it has just really helped us a lot this year. I think just the communication between me and the O lineman ha has really helped. And just as more of us get more reps, the better it is, just experience wise. Uh, Jake, with the way these last two games have gone, it seems like they've been pretty much like track meets. Do you feel like extra pressure sometimes with the offense to be able to keep up, or um, does it change the mentality at all, knowing that you're seeing the other team just put up so many points as well? I mean, I, I definitely we have to respond. Um, you know, and, that, and that's kind of the mindset we've had to have the past two weeks. But I think um, the way we're playing and uh, the way we're scoring points is how we want to play no matter what the, the situation may be or what the score is. Um, we want to be, you know, high-powered on offense and, and really be able to score a lot of points. 
and uh, we, we, we hope to do that no matter what the score is situation. Jake, the, the senior on offense who's got the most experience for you guys is Zach Bailey. What, what has he meant to the offense during the three years you've been here, and what has he meant to you personally? Yeah, I mean, Zach's, uh, you know, awesome, you know, friend, number one, um, a, a great teammate, uh, and just a really good guy to be around off the field. Um, just a guy that's down to earth, um, you're not worried about what's coming next, um, just really about focused on what he has to do here. Um, but as far as on the field, just a guy that that brings it every day at practice. Um, you know, obviously one of the one of the more physical guys on the team, and just uh, you you see it each and every day. Um, you know, just the physicality that he brings, um, and, and just a, a leader on the offensive line and a leader for our offense. Um, a little, a few more things on the seniors. First of all, did they provide? I, I guess some sort of advice and wisdom having come through kind of the first season that a lot of them were here when, you know, this season, this program did kind of bottom out. Do they have lessons and sort of warnings that they passed on to you having gone through that experience? And also, does it give you guys some, uh, a little bit of hope go going forward that it's, it's not a very big senior class and, uh, you know, a lot of your, a lot of your depth chart should be coming back next year? Yeah, I mean, I think, like I said before, they, they've been through a lot and um, we're definitely able to, you know, take their experiences and, and help us and uh, you know as far as just you know locker room stuff whether someone's complaining or anything just being able to kind of nip that in the bud real fast and uh, just just kind of tell them that you know this is how it used to be but we're going to change and, and this is how it's going to be now and um, you know it's just a testament to them how they've um, accepted you know the coaching here um, being able to change a lot of them could have just you know said you know College career didn't go the way it, way it, I planned it to be, and just kind of gave up. But a lot of them really, um, you know, showed a lot of toughness, and and were able to um, turn this program around and get it get it going in the right direction. Uh, with Bryson being out for however long now, and, and sort of DJ having gone through it too, what, do you almost kind of wonder what could have been with those two guys being more healthy at the same time for mm -hmm. y'all's defense? I mean, yeah, I mean, you know what. It would have been big for us to have them both out there. Um, but, you know, you can't go into what ifs and, and what could have been, and it's just the way it is. And uh, a lot of guys have had to step up, which has been big for us. So, you know, a lot of guys have got valuable playing experience, and I hate it for them being out um, for sure, uh, but just kind of the way it is. Jake, is it how unusual is it or strange that, you know, your SEC season is done and you still have three more games left in the regular season? Does that require some adjustment? Uh, you know, I'll be able to better answer that probably, you know, in, in two weeks, you know, being probably one of a few teams that are, that are playing that, that final week. So, um, you know, not really. I mean, it's just the next week for us. You know, we kind of, we have a, you know, motto, take every game as a season. So it's on to the next one and, uh, and just taking one at a time. Uh, Coach Muschamp said that uh, Jay Urich was an emergency special teamer going into the Florida game. What did you see that kind of entailing for him, and what does it kind of say about him that he, a quarterback, uh, is sort of willing to and able to kind of have that kind of role? Yeah, I mean, that's just the, the type of person Jay is. Um, Jay wants to do whatever he can to help the team, um, you know, whether that's, you know, passing out food or, or you know, picking someone's helmet up for him, anything. I mean, Jay's just that type of guy, um, a, a guy that you really want on your team um, and just a guy that's willing to do whatever it takes to help help out. Did that change his prep at all? Um, I mean, he, you know, when they do special team stuff, we usually have individual. Um, so in the, I guess, when they practice his specific special team, he would go with them. But for the most part, though, he was still with us and going along. Does every week this season get a particular test this week, given that you've got a non-Power 5 opponent in Clemson on the horizon? Do you really have to buckle down on that motto? No, for sure. I think that not only do we not have to look ahead, we can't look behind either. And uh, we, can't, we can't look behind of what could have been or what we should have done. Um, we can't look ahead. Um, we got really got to focus on Chattanooga because they're a good football team. And, um, you know, they've, they've, they're really good defensively. Um, they slow it down offensively and, and run a lot of clock off. So more have to play well.
And um, I think the guys know that. They're locked in and um, locked in to making this week special for our seniors as well. Jake, kind of talked about it before, but now that you're a junior, when you talk about with being senior week and everything going on, um, this things kind of start to be put in perspective for you, knowing that you know your time here is starting to run out. No, I mean, for, for sure. Um, you know, we we're talking about it the other day, just some of the guys on the team of how fast it's gone, how fast it's gone by. Um, and just, uh, you know, kind of thinking that a lot of us only got, you know, one season left. Um, you know, it's, it's exciting because, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's going to be our last time at it. But uh, it's also kind of not depressing, but, you know, it's kind of, I don't know the right word. Uh, help me out, think. What do you think? What, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Bittersweet. See, that's why I need you guys. Um, but yeah, it is bittersweet because I mean it's so many memories that we've made along the way, and uh, you know as it's you know one more year left, uh, you want to make the most of it. Bittersweet. That's a good one. Good. Um.